Hi everyone. Today is my turn for our book club session. So today I would like to share with you the content of a self-help uh, motivation material or book uh, entitled The Monk Who Sold His Fellow Book. Uh, this book is actually uh, same or some sort of uh, a motivation uh, book uh, that uh, we normally hear, like uh, if all of you uh, know or has uh, had been heard, like you can talk for the soul, which is encourage our our self self confidence. Uh. This is a fable about Julian Nanter. Uh, uh, this is a fable story about Julian Mantel, who was a very successful lawyer, also a superstar lawyer. This is uh, a famous, rich, uh, and very successful lawyer. Lah. He fought cases only to defend some really wealthy people. He had a big mansion, a private jet. And of course, a parody. He is also known as a seven figure making lawyer and also known as a $3,000 Italian suit lawyer. In this book, there's only two main characters, which is Julian Mantel uh, himself, and this, uh, the story Stoller, which is this story is told by uh, from the perspective of one of his associates who admire him. Great success and aspire to be like him, which is the storyteller of uh, this book. Okay, uh, the starting of the book, he start uh, with uh, the chapter one of the book. This book start with uh, a tragedy, which is uh, we call a wake up call. Mm. At, at, the, at, uh, at the first chapter of this book, uh, start with Julian Mantel, the lawyer. Uh, he, he suddenly he suddenly has a heart attack. He collapsed right in the middle of a packed courtroom after that and uh, from the, from starting from the the incident he he lost and get up from uh, his actual life after the tragedy this uh, there is an emergency meeting uh, told by the storyteller uh, the storyteller in this book called John after the emergency there is a meeting at the firm and one of the highest firm members informed that Julian has made decision to leave the firm. And uh, the story is set from this point. Lah. From the tragedy of the massive heart attack, brought Julian Mantel back down to earth and commit him to his mortality. It turned out that he didn't need all his wealthy. He sold everything and ventured into the Himalayan mountains. Uh, and then from that from that story, he then uh, he when uh, he come back and he 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 come back and uh, see uh, his he see John uh, because that uh, he is very good friend with John before and from this. Uh, all the story, uh, I did summarize the story. Lah. When he come back, he changed. He, he really become a changed man. He's completely different person. He learned from some mystical Himalayan gurus who give him mystical, mystical and yet practical advice, which he shared with his former associate uh, with the the storyteller. Lah. So there's a lot of concept inside concept and. 
dia sini dulu lah concept and learning point from from the story start to begin and then the concept of the the core of this book is the seven which of enlightened learning which mentor reveals one by one then seven seven riches of enlightened learning which is first is master your mind and then follow your purpose third is practice guidance live with discipline respect your time selfless serve others and embrace the present and from the master your mind uh, the guru told him everything what we do we must master our mind first which is mean we must cultivate our mind it will blossom beyond our expectation we start with our mind and then the mind will control our self the quality of uh, our life is determined by the quality of uh, our thoughts so from this chapter there's a quotable quote which is the secret of happiness is simple find out what you truly love to do and then direct all of your energy towards doing it once you do this, abundance flows into your life and all your desires are filled with peace and grace. So, uh, like us, like everything what we do, firstly, we control our mind and we must master our mind. Once we think that we can do, we really we can do. And the second, the second one is follow your purpose. Uh, Live. The purpose of life is a life of purpose. Discovering and then realizing your life work brings lasting fulfillment. Set clearly defined personal, professional, and spiritual goals, and then have the courage to act on them. And then the third one is practice kaizen. Kaizen. Uh, is uh, one of Japanese one of the, one of the famous practice uh, by the Japanese lah. It is change for the better. You can change for the better lah. Uh, you know philosoph philosophy by Japanese people. And then live with discipline. This is a uh, normal thing. When we discipline, we can. Uh, we can, uh, with discipline, we can do uh, all of our, our job. And then respect your time. Respect your time. This is not only to respect your work time. If respect time means you have full, you have to fully use your time. In the, uh, which is you can, you have to manage. Uh, or a, a day in your life. Time is your most precious commodity and it's non renewable. Focus on the priority. For example, our family, our work. So, uh, manage to uh, divide our time. Full, uh, live with and then selfless serve others. Selflessly, selflessly serve others means we do good to other people without without think twice. Selfless means selfless serve uh, no matter what we we try to do some good deed to, to other people. And the last is embrace the present. Embrace the present means live in the now of your life, fullestly. Never sacrifice happiness for achievement. And then, uh, for example, uh, for the parents, live your children's childhood. Uh, and then one is the quotable quote for live. Embrace the present. We are all here for some special reason. Stop being a prisoner of your past. Become the architect of your future. For me, the book is good uh, to be read in, for all types of people because it gives us 
um, self confidence uh, to blow our mind on how to live the life to the fullest. That's it. Thank you.